I respect Wu Tang Clan. They borrow different philosophy. You heard their uh, rapping layers and philosophy. You know, that's where they spread the philosophy from different cultures. They're blending them together. Welcome back to Inspire Change with Jordan Mulligan. Today's video is with the amazing master of the Shaolin Temple USA, Master Shi Yan Ming, the hip hop monk. And today we're talking about Wu-Tang Clan and how it came about and how his influence had an impact on the whole hip hop world. Today's video was sponsored by Huel, a quick, affordable, nutritionally complete source of food with everything that your body needs. They've just sent me their new daily greens. I'm gonna try this a little bit later on, um, but I'm really excited. So check the link down below to find more about their daily greens. But before that, Master Shi Yan Ming and the Wu-Tang Clan and how they changed the hip hop industry forever. Let's dive into the video. I think one of the craziest things about when you dive into your story is your link to hip hop culture. And, <laughs> you know, I, I think it's uh, it's wonderful to see, like like you said, like you, you're involved in a melting pot in New York City, but how did that come up, come about? Like how did, you know, you didn't, I don't, I don't know if you arrived in America with that intention, but you know, I'd love to hear the story behind it. That story about it, you know, yo, check out, peace, love, represent, respect, you know what I'm saying? The reason, the Jesus, the master killer, you know what I'm saying? Oh, the, ODB, all their bust, Mephi Man, Mephi Magics, yo. Chef Rui Kwan, you know what I'm saying? That's what we're talking about, I. <laughs> that's what, that's what New York City is very unique. You know, people from different, different places. That's what, you know, made New York City very special. Yeah, back to 1995, the reason, the abbot of Wu-Tang Clan was looking for me. That time, the temple was a few blocks away from here on Barry Street. And uh, one day, he knocked the door three times. Somehow, that day, I wasn't there. Like, a play with, with us. You know, like, the, you know, the, the, the society, the history played with us. I wasn't there. And three times, he, he knocked the door. Later on, we met when Jesus' album released. Finally, we met. That time, we didn't speak that much English. We talked about English, you know what I'm saying? Uh, man, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, good, like that. Okay, okay, okay. Of course, he didn't speak Chinese. Somehow, we had a conversation a few hours, a couple hours. We went to study each other. We had a fabulous, fantastic conversation. We understood each other, somehow, just like that like a traditional chant teachers, mind to mind, heart to heart, just like that. We just bond it. Yeah. From that day on, brotherhood. Yeah. Master, disciples, disciple master, it doesn't matter. If you humble enough for yourself, you can learn from each other. You can learn from anybody if you want to learn. If you all the food, I'm the master. And the most intelligent, smart person on the planet, you did. Yeah. I suggest everybody open mind, open heart. All learning. All learning. Also borrow some knowledge, philosophy from other people and blending them together. That's yours. You can help yourself to grow very well, handsome, like this. You know what I'm saying? Close shot. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> seriously, yeah. That's why I say when, when you fall, when you fall, oh, I have not, nothing to learn. You're dead. Yeah, you're dead. You already, you already stop yourself to grow. Yeah, you want to learn new things, you can learn new things every day until you come back again next life. You never finish learning new things. Yeah, that's why keep you young. Keep you fresh. Yeah, that's what's humble. Be humble yourself. You all have just sent me their new daily greens. If you want to find out more, head to the link down below. It's the most convenient way of getting everything that your body needs. It takes 10 seconds to prepare. I'm now going to hit this every single morning along with one of their shakes throughout the day. 
that saves me so much time when we're flying around the world with all our equipment, we're doing these podcast episodes to know that I can get all of this nutrients, the minerals, the vitamins in 10 seconds is mind blowing. So if you want to find out more, head to link down below where you can get Huel. Mm. Did I mention that it's absolutely delicious? Because it really is absolutely delicious. All of their products are down below. What came of the the lessons that you learned from Wu Tang, from RZA, from hip hop? Like, what were the some of the lessons that you took from their culture and what they do? I learned a lesson from Wu Tang Clan. <laughs> it's beautiful. You know, I learned a lesson from their open their minded, open heart. That's why they named the Wu Tang Clan, Wu Tang in Wu Tang Mountain. In, he in Hubei province, next to Henan province. Yeah, I talked to Riza to the Wutai Mountain back to 1999. 1999. Yeah, I talked to Riza to Wu Mountain back to 1999. Let him visit. Also, I, I talked him to Shang Temple too. And let, let, let him see it, where I come from. Let people see it. I explained to people, you know, this, this, this. This, that, that, this, you know what I mean? Also, I talk everybody to the Beijing Wushu team. The best Wushu modern firm, Wushu, are practitioners in Beijing. I talk to everybody there to see it. Yeah. Open mind. Yeah. Don't waste people's life. Yeah. People want to open that door, let them open that door. People want to believe Jesus Christ, go believe Jesus Christ. If you want to believe Buddha, go. If you want to believe God, fantastic. Yeah. Everybody's beautiful. Individually, everybody's fantastic. Yeah. Not only self handsome, everybody's handsome. Everybody's beautiful. Not only beautiful, everybody's beautiful. You know what I mean? Individually. Yeah. That's what I I treat, you know, respect Wu Tang clan. I open mind, they borrow different philosophy. You, you, you heard their uh, rapping layers and philosophy, you know? That's where there's spread the philosophy from different cultures. They're blending them together. They use different way to approach and to help people. When, you know, that's why they're popular, you know, hip hop legend on the, on the planet. They, they're still performing. We were in Vienna last month. They're still performing in the United States touring. That's beautiful, you know what I mean? That's, they spread the knowledge, to share the knowledge a different way. Like I'm doing, you know, for example, you know, yo, check out. So what? I can, yeah, being real. You want to say, so what? Yo, check out. You say check out. You know what I mean? Being yourself. Are you, are you meet? Yes, I you meet. I have to have good physical because I train every day. I you meet, it's okay. Yeah. I drink special water, yes. <laughs> special water. I drink. You know what I mean? Let, let people know. Be real. You know? You, you live life cannot be yourself. In a dark side, a monk. You know what I mean? I don't eat meat. I don't drink. Live behind the door. Underneath the table. Let people find, find out you eat, you drink. What, what looks like it? You know, be yourself, please. Stand tall. Live life with purpose. Be yourself. Be honest with yourself. Yeah. Now back to like uh, learning a lot of things, you know, from Wu Tang Clan. You know what I'm saying? Check out. I better know it. You know what I mean? It, not like just not that simple. Yeah. Different, different, different things. You know, I, I appreciate them. They're doing. They spread peace, love, respect. You know, courage. To a lot of people, our own world in, impact to a lot of people. You know what I mean? It's beautiful. I hope you enjoyed that episode about the Wu Tang Clan and the effects that the hip hop monk, the most handsome monk, Shi Yan Ming, how his effect has impacted the hip hop industry, Wu Tang Clan, RZA and so many other people. It's absolutely amazing. And he's such a wonderful, genuine guy who just wants to spread the message and the teachings. Thank you so much to our sponsor today, Huel. If you want to find out more about Huel, head to the link where you can get a discount down below where you can also find their daily greens. Now in the UK and you guys in the US have had this for a while now. 
Why did you keep it from us? It tastes absolutely amazing. <laughs> thank you to Huel. And thank you to everyone who supported us at mulliganbrothers.com. Use code 2024 across the whole website. Still buy one, get one free. Guys, we are flying around the world at the moment filming some new episodes. We have the craziest project on the other side of planet Earth that's coming up uh, where we have to take all of this gear with a huge crew of people. We need to hike it up and around mountains. So um, if that sounds interesting to you, hit the subscription button and hit the notification bell because you're not going to want to miss out on that one. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. It's difficult to grow if you cannot handle loneliness. It's the questioning of what to do next, this type of loneliness, okay? And the more you want to move on, the more you spend time being lonely. Mm. This is like the type of loneliness like I'm also referring to. Some people might get it as loneliness means it's something negative, no, it is what it is, lonely.